Hi, Alan here from Damn Good Reviews, and today I have Adobe Premiere Elements 12, which is Adobe's introduction consumer level video editing system. I've reviewed Adobe Premiere Elements 11 in the past, which you can see that review as well. And this is going to be just a basic overview and review of Adobe Premiere Elements 12. For users of 11, you'll see a lot of the same features and it looks pretty much the same way. For other users that are maybe new to Premiere Elements, um, if you're familiar at all with other video editing systems or, or even the full version of Adobe Premiere, it will look very much the same as well. Obviously some less features, but one thing I will say, for students or people that maybe can't afford the full version of Premiere, this is an excellent, excellent solution for it. Tons and tons of features. Um, there are a good amount of upgrades. The speed has been a little bit faster in 12 compared to 11, which I like. Um, work with a lot of different video files, uh, which is really good too. And uh, like I said, the speed is really great. For someone going from 11 to 12, I'm not 100% sure that you really need to do that unless you're looking for some of these new features. Um, you can definitely check out some of the new features on the Adobe website to see if the upgrade would be worth it for you. But definitely someone getting into it buying 12 off the bat is definitely a great um, you know a great tool and resource to use this software you'll see here that uh, Adobe has added a guided tour option where before we just had the quick and the expert options and the expert option is obviously a lot like a professional editing system and the quick is more like um, a drag and drop file where you can see the thumbnails and easily do it for someone just starting out but now the guided tour is really a bunch of exactly what it says guided tours and it will give you a crash course in Premiere Elements how to trim on what frames adding scores and different sounds so this will really put someone that's looking to learn an editing system step by step and again the great thing about Adobe Premiere Elements is if you're gonna go and move on to Adobe Premiere the full edition um, it's really a great starting tool just show you a couple things off the bat um, we have still the instant movie feature uh, which will really uh, create a movie based on the clips that you have so let me just go ahead and I'm going to add a video clip real quick so it doesn't really matter what it is so that added the video clip and then with the instant movie feature we'll do is it actually chooses a theme almost like building a slideshow type type theme um, you can select any of these themes that Adobe provides and it'll take all your clips and put it together with music all these different theme options and put it into a predefined template and for someone like myself I'm not really a big fan of this because I like doing the editing on, on my own but there are other, other people that want to just bring in their footage and match it up with something like this, make it really quick and easy to do. Um, pretty much a set it and let it go. And they do have a lot of themes. I would like to see some other theme options. I know these are the ones here, but I don't really see anything that says like, you know, download new themes. So that might be something that I would like to see in the future. Or even like, you know, customize your own theme. So we have that. And then we also if I go here we see all the different media options to either import from files and folders, webcams, DVD cams, HD, DV. Adobe Revel is uh, or Adobe Reveal is actually a way to do it. It's an app that you can have on your smartphone or tablet and, and you can actually um, you know look at videos that you've worked on um, but also like photos and videos that you shoot it puts it into a cloud and I can easily retrieve it and work on those files too so that's kinda cool it's a free app for iPhone and, and Android and then of course we have the elements organizer and the elements organizer uh, is really just a, a really easy way to organize your footage you can sort by just uh, audio video pictures and um, and that and then actually the full version of the organizer which can be found here which will take a minute to launch uh, organizer that comes with uh, elements and uh, this is really just a great way to organize your photos and videos make things easily um, accessible and very easy to find 
you'll see that things are loading here a little slow because I'm capturing the screen. Um, but then we can, you know, select clips and we can add tags and info. You know, if we want to add additional tags to it because we can search by those tags. And then also, if we wanted to, we can also add other options like this. If we want to put people tags. So we want to say, hey, I'm in there. I can add different people. So when I'm searching, I go, I want to find something with myself in it or something with you know somebody else that I know was in a specific video clip. I can do that. I can also rate the clips. And then we can also use this option, which is places, where I can select a clip. And then I can um, actually map and drop a pinpoint of where something was shot. Right now, I don't have it because there is no internet connection um, right now but it would come up with a map and you can put in either a zip code or a location and map it and then you can search by it. Also we have the event setting where we can go ahead and select the calendar and then we can go ahead and we can add an event and base it and connect it to a clip and that way we can bring everything in based on events. Uh, we can do this with videos and uh, also with, with uh, images too. So if we just go back here real quick, and then uh, so we have that option, and then if we want to go to Instant Fix, and this will um, apply like instant fixes to your photos uh, to fix the images to make it a little a little better. Um, nice option to have. And then we also have a slideshow builder, and then we also have. Uh, an editor built here so if we want to connect an external editor or if you have Photoshop or a basic photo editor or the video editor so also this will work with Photoshop elements if you have it too so I'm not going to do anything with this close that out right there um, again we have the quick the guide to the expert I'm going to go back over to expert because that's really what I like using and obviously we have all these I believe we can add up to 99 tracks um, for video 99 tracks of audio so that's plenty to do a lot of different options some of the other options here we have our adjustments audio mixer freeze frame uh, we can build a movie menu so if you want to burn it to a disc like a DVD uh, we have that if you want to record additional narration um, on the narration track so if you want to do a voiceover we have that option and we can do pan and zoom effects between the clips uh, a lot of these things are very straightforward a little bit some of it might be a little bit more advanced but you'll take your time and you'll learn it and then another new feature that they've um, incorporated is the motion tracking feature so what I'll do here which is kinda cool and we can uh, select an object actually actually in the video so you can select these and you can learn more about this on the Adobe website and we can say select the object and then we're gonna track the object and actually what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make this clip shorter so we're not so yeah it's not a great clip that we're using but just to give you an idea of how it works. Yeah, so I'm again I'm gonna select the object and this is the object here. And you'll see again on the Adobe website they have a really good one with a, a guy on a bike where it follows him. So we'll track the object and then it will track through it and then we can play and you'll see that it's, uh, it stays on it right here so we know so it, it will track it and then you can add different things you can add a graphic to it so it stays with that um, you know as good as it can based on the footage that you're working with so that's a really cool feature to have that as uh, is new and Adobe uh, Elements 12 so let's go back here We, we of course have the titles and effects. We have a bunch of uh, default ones. We have a default title, default role, so we make credits or a crawl to so crawl across the screen, almost like a news, <laughs> like a news show. And then we have a bunch of presets in here as well, like um, you know uh, some of the silly ones, like the aquarium and 
and uh, different ones that you can download from from Adobe or retro lower thirds but you can always build your own as well because um, all these presets we have movie genres new baby pet season so if someone that's looking to get into this and build you know some graphics that are pre-done very easy to do we also have a bunch of the uh, the effects that we can apply to our layers some of the other effects that have been updated are the film look effects so they've added a bunch of new film looks which is uh, always really cool and you can just go ahead and drag it right to the footage and then we can add those so any like filmmakers or anybody looking to add some really uh, different effects have that uh, option now then of course we have you know, some of our normal stuff normal applied effects we have motion where we can adjust the scale we can use keyframes to adjust it and make our own zooming and panning if we want as well as the opacity because we have later layers and we have our fade in fade out blend modes which is great so if you're doing any type of overlays which also reminds me that they do now have adjustment layers for someone that's a little bit more advanced will understand this where you can create an adjustment layer and then be able to apply that adjustment layer with effects and presets to a variety or across all your clips so instead of having to go in and create each clip with specific adjustments you can do it in one clip and just apply the whole thing uh, you know they've also added some more scores and sound effects so we have you know a bunch here and you'll see with the blue bar those are going to be downloaded right from Adobe but if we go to music score we see all the different types and we can always show all but then we also have sound effects um, depending on what we want to bring in and then of course you can always bring in your own you know mp3s or WMA files or WAV files to work with another option that they've incorporated into this new version is the auto smart tone so this is the auto smart tone here which is a um, updated and new feature and you know what this does it will automatically bring out dull dim or washed out videos and uh, it kind of brings it back and you know it's a really great feature um, you know for for people that maybe have shot stuff that wasn't looking great you can do that but then also you know like I said Adobe Premiere Elements gives you all these features and you know sometimes these intro programs are not that great but this one I mean you can go into the custom settings and you can build this really however you want and do a lot of customization to it to get the best um, looking video that you want and then also if we go back here you know we have our smart fix and uh, color options and again we can always go in if we don't like this just working with the basics that are the presets we can always go in more and really get down to the nitty, nitty gritty and adjust it ourselves I mean that that's really really a great feature one of the other options that they have here is the let's see we have the smart trim which will look at your video and give you trim points to make the video look you know look how you want it to look and get rid of or at least suggest of what to get rid of when there's shaky video and areas like that so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to bring in one more video here. So really what I can do here is if I select them, I can run the auto analyzer. Now we remember the create instant movie where it's using those uh, clips but if I do the auto analyzer it's going to analyze all your clips and it will show you the best points that it feels uh, can easily edit a movie so it will show you where there's shakiness and then I can take those clips and drag them on the timeline and of course stretch and, and cut to my preference but it's really going to save a lot of money instead of like going through hours of footage which is great for people that maybe aren't shooting like whole movies but someone you know working on some other projects whether it's like music videos or uh, student films. There are some other options here. We have things like freeze frame, the movie menu where we can build it. Show you that quickly. 
So again, you have uh, the themes. So if you want to base it on the themes that are already in here, and then you know you have some other options, how many markers you want, and then we also have these are the slideshow themes. So then we have a bunch of themes that are in here, and this was another thing I didn't see a way to really say add new themes or build my own. So I, I would definitely like to see that. Finally, we have the publish and share options, which is working with Adobe Reveal. And then we have the social websites. We can burn to a, a DVD or a Blu-ray, a web DVD, which is going to work just like a DVD, but on a computer. Uh, we have just computer export, so we have a bunch of different file formats, or we can send it out to a mobile phone, uh, those formats. So it makes it very easy to get your video pretty much to a lot of different um, platforms. Um, working with some of the file formats, you know, might take some time to figure out which is which. But I typically just, you know, export out to a computer file like an MOV or an MP4. So, you know, we work with this and you can upload to places like YouTube or Vimeo. And, uh, you know, it might take a little bit, you know, read some help files to learn a little more, but uh, relatively easy to do. And other things that are recommended if you're looking at some of the trailer websites, like if you look at the QuickTime uh, trailers on Apple.com, uh, Apple you can download them and then you can right click and look at the properties of what how those movies are encoded and use the same settings to get uh, the same great look. Uh, overall, I really love using the Adobe Premiere Elements 12. Um, it is a great move, great move and a great software piece, very affordable for someone looking to get into video editing and tons and tons of features and I think this is great for someone that has even used Adobe Premiere or is looking to eventually jump into Adobe Premiere the full version of it. Um, all the features here love the speed of it and um, there are a few things that I would like to see maybe a little bit um, you know change or some other options um, as far as the playback quality all we have is automatic and highest I still would like to see you know a medium and a low resolution because if you're working with a lot of files depending on your computer system sometimes you will see it uh, start to slow down but besides that I'm gonna give the Adobe Premiere Elements four and a half stars um, you know again because of that feature there's some other features that I would like to see um, able to build some of my own templates for DVDs but overall this is a really really a great platform I highly recommend it Go download it if you can pick it up with the uh, Photoshop elements. You're going to have um, two great tools that will really great get you going um, into uh, you know video editing and as well as editing with a uh, Photoshop based uh, program. So uh, I, go check it out yourself. Um, for people that are looking to upgrade from 11 to 12, check out the features in 12 and to see if it's really worth the update. But um, Overall, I really enjoyed using this. Uh, thanks for watching. I'm Alan from Damn Good Reviews. Make sure you subscribe to us here on YouTube, and of course, check us out at damngoodreviews.com.